What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today we're gonna be talking about Titanfall 2. Man, that was a good 49 second trailer. You guys saw the animation? That was a badass animation. Whoever animated the goddamn thing, they deserve a goddamn award, man. That was good by EA. So, um, and by the way, I will not be showing the trailer here, just in case you're wondering. I will not show the trailer because I don't want to copyright. So, search it up on YouTube. It should be 49 seconds long. Do not click on the ones that have like a minute because those are like freaking clickbaiters. So, Anyways, Titanfall 2, saw the animation, saw the sword, and I was like, imagine going down the field with a goddamn sword. You see three enemies in front of you, fucking slash them in half, and I see them on the kill field. I'm like, damn, that's a fucking badass slash right there with a goddamn sword. So I can't wait what the hell it is, man, because all we saw is just a Titan holding onto a sword, and, you know, hopefully we can use it on fucking Titans. And it's not just like fucking story mode or whatever. So, um, and that's another thing. That's another big plus. I heard that freaking Titanfall was going to have a story. Which is good. Because we also the fucking flop on Titanfall 1. And uh, they did not have a story. It was just multiplayer 24-7. I believe if a game is the multiplayer 24-7, they don't deserve to be costing like 60 bucks. Unless they have DLC, then maybe they deserve to cost 60 bucks. But the regular game should cost 40 or something. So... It was bad by their part but not having the story. Especially Destiny 2. Like Destiny didn't have a story either. It had cutscenes but not a story. So um so yeah man, so, so they I think they're trying to avoid another flop and this time they added a story, they're adding more stuff, and that's a good thing. At least EA is trying to improve their IP. And it's showing, man. It's showing just by like hearing all these rumors, and I'm like, yeah, that's a good way to do it. But my main question right now to Titanfall 2 is that um, they better allow us to customize our goddamn guns. I hate when games do this shit. Like, they give you preset weapons and expect it to do good, and they want DLC money for it, like, for the rest of the fucking weapons. Like, that's just fucking bullshit, man. And, um, you know, Destiny did the same shit, too. Like, they, uh, they gave you preset weapons. They don't allow you to customize weapons, but the best weapons are the ones that are fucking locked, like, for the longest time, because they don't give it to you in the loot. So... It's a lot of bullshit going on with the goddamn weapons, but hopefully Titanfall 2 allow us to unlock weapons by leveling up our character, not by fucking cards or by buying supply drops or whatever. You know, hopefully Titanfall 2 allow us to unlock weapons by leveling up and uh, hopefully unlock attachments so we can place those attachments on our weapons the way we like. Just like freaking Battlefield 5, I mean Battlefield 4, sorry. Battlefield 4, I mean, we just level up our weapons and we allow they allow us to put attachments on it, so... Um, hopefully it's like that, man, and they don't limit us to a certain amount that, uh, it's gonna piss me off, because when games don't allow me to freaking customize their weapons, like, it's, it's just a piss off for me, it's just a great turn down. So, um, so yeah, man, that's my biggest question, man, is Titanfall 2. The mechanics, I know it's gonna be like Black Ops 3, you know, wall running and whatever. I know that Titanfall came out with it first, but I never got to play Titanfall, because it was on Xbox One, which was a bad part by e freaking EA, you know, they should have released it on both consoles, but... They didn't, so um, this year they're gonna release it on both consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, which is good. And um, you know, I finally get to t try out this new IP. And um, right now, I think I'm, I'm gonna watch like Titanfall One gameplays so I can like get used to whatever the fuck it is and see what the hell was up with last year. Because I know I, all I remember is that people were complaining about this auto target weapon, like it had like humming bullets or whatever. And a lot of people complain about it. I'm like, God damn it. That's one thing to worry about. You know, they barely bans They better balance that shit out. And um, also last year's gameplays, a lot of people complain about the servers and, you know, weapons. And, like, there was a lot of complaints, man. So hopefully they'll listen to the complaints and they fix all that shit. Because this year, I will not tolerate wasting 60 bucks on crap, man. I seriously won't. Cause, and, and, this, and then there's a lot of things coming out this year, too. Doom, Destiny 2, Battlefield 5, and... You know, Overwatch, I mean, there's a lot of games coming out, too, and, you know, I don't want to be wasting money like crazy on stupid IPs that won't allow me to do a lot of my stuff that I want to, so, um, yeah, man, hopefully they do have a good gameplay mechanics and a lot of shit fixed before Titanfall 2 gets released, so, and hopefully they do hold a beta, because I wish to show the beta here on my channel, I don't mind, man, Titanfall 2, it's something to work with this year, and there's a lot of FPS games, so, guys, I'm telling you guys right now, there's going to be a lot of shit going down on this channel. A lot of shit. A lot of betas. A lot of FPS gaming. It's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be a field day for me this year. So that is it, guys. I don't want to talk about my reaction about this whole situation. All I want to know is the gameplay, the gameplay mechanics, and what to expect from this game from weapons and shit. And hopefully I do have a lot of shit to do. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more gameplays.